Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from our Loot Crate series, the anime edition. Uh, now today, as you can see, I do not have Geek with me. Uh, unfortunately, she's feeling a little under the weather. She can't uh, talk very well and, you know, she's just not feeling the greatest. So anyhow, here is the current box or the latest box that I got. Uh, pretty much the standard size that most of them are I mean with you've got either this or if you've got kind of maybe that more square looking box they seem to kind of come in these two these two shapes so let's go ahead open it up and find out what's inside all right so there we go guys okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and again since uh, Geeky isn't here to explain stuff as well I'm just gonna try and go through it as best I can I, I will be kind of quick about this and uh, you know, I, I'm sure I'm going to stumble and fumble, and I apologize for that right up front. Uh, so, I, I, I hopefully, I don't really recognize a whole lot of stuff for this. So, I'm probably going to look a little bit of this up, trying to figure out what some of it is. Uh, so, if you don't mind, just bear with me, and uh, we'll see uh, how it goes. First thing we'll do is, you can see, of course, I turned the box inside out, and uh, it seems to go with maybe whatever this assortment of... Uh, anime is based off of uh, but there's basically the box turned inside out uh, so there you go there and uh, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the poster here uh, now one thing and I don't know if I ever mentioned it before I noticed it later on uh, after some of the other episodes that the poster, uh, it does have stuff on the front and the back, but I never actually paid attention to the fact that the stuff on the back actually kind of tells you a little bit about some of this. So I'm probably gonna use that for reference. So if, it, if you guys end up having something like this, uh, if you've gotten this box or whatever, and it sounds like I'm reading it off, I'm trying not to read it off, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna paraphrase it a little bit, but uh, that's kind of where I've got maybe some of the information. Now, here's the poster right here, uh, this is, Again, this is unfortunately a lot of them. I, it's not real familiar. Looks like we've got a cat that happened to dump spaghetti all over this uh, this girl here. Um, maybe right here looks like uh, they got into a little bit of a, a fight or a tiff or something. And the cat got its uh, spaghetti, but the girl got the spaghetti on her head as well as a couple scratches down her face. Then we've got the stuff on the back. And here, as you can see, it does say action comedy so I'm guessing that looks like um, that's gonna be what these are all based on so we'll go ahead and uh, kind of run down through these and you know since this is here and since like I said I'm gonna go ahead and use this for reference we're just gonna go ahead and follow it along right across the thing here so uh, first things first off of the page here is we've got this uh, t-shirt right here and uh, as you can as you can see here, this is uh, a tri trigun, trigun, I believe, is the way maybe the way it's pronounced. It looks that's what it looks like. Trigun uh, looks obviously a guy with a uh, a guy a guy with a gun and everything. And then at the bottom here it says uh, Badlands Rumble. So trigun Badlands Rumble. Uh, now I don't know if you guys know anything about this, but uh, here it says that Vash. The Stampede is, uh, he, I guess he's a donut loving goofball is, is the what they're saying. And uh, he has a good nature and he happens to be one of the, uh, he, he's basically a gunslinger. Um, supposed to be really, really good at it, I guess. I guess, um, I guess he must be wanted or something like that. Either that or this may be his fee, but it says uh, he's worth like $60 billion. But what's funny is that he has uh, amnesia. Uh, and uh, it, it's called retrograde amnesia. I guess he uh, has blown up some towns on just on accident, and then he's got uh, some insurance agents that follow him around, try to minimize all the damage that he causes, maybe from being a gunslinger or whatever. Let's uh, move on to the next one. The next one is this manga here, and it says, Kanasuba, God's blessing onto this wonderful world. And uh, okay, so shows a couple a couple of people there, a, a girl and a boy there, uh, both wielding blades and everything. And uh, let's let's take a quick look at what that says. 
Okay, so it looks like this one is about uh, the boy, I think the boy here, um, the girl here seems to be a, a girl, uh, supposedly she's a goddess, um, who is, uh, I guess maybe part of an MMORPG-like world, so, uh, and then the boy's name here is, uh, Kazuma, Kazuma, excuse me, Kazuma Sato. Uh, he happened to, uh, he was a gamer guy, he was kind of a shut-in, it looks like, and turns out he ended up dying in a traffic accident, and she ends up basically asking him if he wants to be reborn into this MMORPG world. Uh, now, when he goes to take her up on her offer, uh, there are some unexpected consequences. And I guess these are ones that both of them didn't expect. Looks like a piece of artwork right here. And this is FLCL. Uh, and you've got, of course, a handful of characters right here. Some gun-wielding people, as well as some ominous figures uh, there in the background. The 12-year-old uh, Nato Nandaba is <laughs> run over by a Vespa. And... Uh, the rider who uh, who uh, ended up hitting him or running over him was Haruku Harahara Haruhara, and uh, ends up saving his life, but ends up smacking him in the head with a guitar, which then, for some unknown reason, the bump or the injury uh, spouts off giant robots. It ends up there's lots of robot fights and things like that. So we've got another print here, and this one is High School DXD, uh, or D by D or D times D, however you want to say it. And uh, as you can see, there are the two, the two anime girls, and the and they're both clinging on to the boy there. And let's see, the teenager Issei. Uh, he gets gets a second chance at life when Raya's a fallen angel uh, saves him and makes him her servant. He has to train to survive the violent world of devils and angels while navigating some awkward and funny and risque uh, situations. So, uh, and I'm assuming this kind of depicts one of those risque kind of. Uh, uh, situations that he's talking about where he's got two girls here uh, clinging on to him like that. Uh, next we have this little uh, phone chart and uh, it's got the little kitty on it with a star behind it and some some uh, kanji down the side. It says that this is kitty action com comedy. Naya, Yume's kitty pal, is here to add some charm to your phone. So, uh, we've got uh, this one right here. This is One Punch Man and uh, there's a couple of figures in this. Now if you look on the back here you can see there are actually four sets that uh, that you can have and they actually show four sets on here and uh, this one happens to be uh, let's see it is the Saitama who is the bald looking dude uh, the bald looking character there and Genos who is the one with the longer uh, ruffled hair and uh, that happens to be this one down in the corner so of course there are three other ones that uh, if you want to collect the whole group together you can uh, get the other variations of them One Punch Man and it's One Punch <laughs> the show uh, follows Satama the man who becomes bored with super bored with super heroics because he trains so well that he can beat enemies with one punch. Uh, he accepts a cyborg who is this uh, Genos, Genos, so it's Genos's offer, the cyborg, uh, to be his disciple. They, they join us, uh, a hero association uh, for adventure and uh, so Saitama can become a celebrity, I guess. But uh, here we go with all of the uh, products here. Um, we've got six products there. We've got, of course, the the poster 
here. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off from here. My name is Cougar. This has been another episode from our Loot Crate Anime Edition uh, here on World of Me. And if you want to check out Loot Crate, you can go down there into the description below and uh, we'll have a link down there for that as well as links to all of our social media and on your way down or on your way back up don't forget to hit that thumbs up button lets us know that you like the video like the content and like to see more as well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button of course there'll be the subscribe button right down there or there's going to be another one floating around right over here right at the end of the video and uh, as you can hit those and as long as you hit that bell icon you can uh, make sure to set it up so that you're notified when we have new videos come out all right guys well i'd like to wish you all a good day and i will see you later bye